group one and we'll be going over and discussing question one. So question one asks, compare and contrast the different agents of political socialization, what effect do they have on political learning? Before we answer the question, it's important to define what political socialization is. Political socialization is essentially the process where individuals learn to develop their own beliefs, ideologies, and political views. This is seen as a continuous process where a person slowly caters their own beliefs through their own experience in a lifetime. For example, due to the high variety of different backgrounds in the United States, this has led to numerous people having different perspectives. A person who grew up in a lower income household may have different political views as those from an affluent household. Factors that influence this may range from religion, economic background, and culture, and etc. There are also other influences from different organizations and groups. This is an aspect of agents of political socialization, which will be discussed in the next slide. Uh, Here are the agents of political socialization, and we have four of them, family, school, peers, and media. For family, a child's ideal are most likely shaped by their parents at a young age, making family one of the most strongest uh, agents to influence someone. And then we have school, which teaches students about how to be a good future American citizen and teaches about the American view. Um, for peers, friends and peers can determine well, what is like the norm for a person and what they think is normal. And this helps uh, share, shape the individual's thinking. And for media, uh, the media allows the individual to know about events and information about their political view, and it helps them shape that view. Compare and contrast these agents. Uh, to compare, almost all of the agents of the political socialization are easy to come into contact with. Um, a, most, a person most likely influenced by one of these four is because of the accessibility and time spent with the media or family or peers or school. Um, to contrast them, the media is different from most agents because they use selective uh, exposure which means that the media only shows things that the uh, person using media agrees with. And schools uh, teaches their own ideology and views to teach future Americans. Family is one of the most influential agents because how parents shape their kids' uh, ideals at an early age. The influence of political socialization. People are influenced by everything that surrounds them, family, neighbors, friends, and now especially social media. Everything that you are exposed to in the world is reflected and passed on in your mind. It's very similar to a child where they're in school and the way they learn and become used to things is through repeated, repeated exposure, such as reading a book. It's also similar to how um, a child will learn things often from parents or elders and throughout their lives, those two uh, authority figures will teach them and have influence over them. Political learning is a concept that takes both an active and passive role when it comes to the process of people developing political maturity. Political learning requires having a set of beliefs and values to be able to embrace and understand politics. Um, to go into more detail, political socialization is a type of political learning. Significance of political learning. Pol politics are how groups of people get things done as a collective, and when they become educated and they learn the different stuff, they become more effective and make better decisions that benefit the whole community as a whole. How do the different types of agents affect political learning? Families. Family has a big role in political learning because of the time and emotional connection of a family setting. Regular interaction throughout childhood results in parents exposing their viewpoints and explaining them as the logical decision, influencing their children. And many of these children, especially when they are younger, begin to think like their parents and hold the same political ideologies as them. School. Schools are used to instill nationalistic values within children from an early age through the Pe Pledge of Allegiance and selective teaching by positively portraying the U.S. the majority of the time. However, higher education also helps to educate on different viewpoints and can lead to younger generations opposing certain government actions, 
but usually these students do not oppose the entirety of the government. Peers. Your peers help determine social norms, which affect what you consider normal. Normal activities, normal thoughts, and normal actions, which can affect how you learn and interpret new ideas. These norms can also affect how you view your role as an individual in society and how you believe you as an individual and other individuals should act in relation to the government. Media. With children being on the internet more than they are in school, media has become one of the biggest sources for political information among the youth. However, young adults are turning away from TV and newspapers for political information, which has led to this generation being less politically knowledgeable than previous generations.